Right, we're with Neve now. Uh, we're taking a look at the latest version of the Genesis console, the G3D. It's a rather lovely looking thing. And it's gained some native Dolby Atmos integration. Uh, Joe's going to talk us through some of the key features. Hi there, thanks Luke. So I'm Joe, Joe Heaton, product specialist for Neve, and we're here at NAM 2024. And the biggest product that we're showing at the show today is the G3D system. So this is an upgrade to the existing hybrid Genesis Black console and indeed the Genesis consoles. And what we've added to the console is full Atmos mixing capability. So this is the first time that a dedicated studio analog console can actually mix in the Dolby Atmos format. Um, the way that we've achieved this is via a combination of hardware and software. We have a new hardware panel here. Uh, this features touch sensitive encoders that allow us to remotely control uh, objects on the, on the renderer network. And we have a new option here on the monitor control that allows us to remotely control the output level of the Dolby Atmos renderer. In addition, we have extra switches here that allow us to further control the Dolby Atmos renderer. So I can mute my objects, beds, master mute, dim. I can toggle between the input and master tabs on the renderer. Uh, as well as I can record arm the renderer uh, from the console surface. So these are all really intuitive features that make it very convenient when doing an Atmos mix from the console surface. So we can route analog signals through the, uh, sorry, signals from the DAW through the analog circuitry of the console. So you're getting analog EQ, analog dynamics, all the analog processing uh, included in your Atmos mix. And then we can use our new software package, which uh, runs on the Genesis internal computer system, allowing us to become a metadata controller for all of the objects on the network. So you can see here, this is our object uh, selection screen. I can choose to select objects from here. I can select mono or stereo objects. I can then use the arrow keys to toggle through my available objects and then move them around in three dimensional space. And by having a touch screen, this allows you to very quickly position an object on the XY plane. And because we have the four encoders that can also do the same, uh, I can use the Z plane for my, for my height with one hand and then the other hand to do the XY. So I've effectively got full three-dimensional panning from a simple two-handed operation of the desk. And if you have a look at the, the Dolby Atmos renderer up there, you can see I can position this object anywhere uh, in 3D space very quickly. Um, we also have uh, the Genesis Control plugin running on, on our DAW here, which allows us to automate uh, any of these object motions. So anything that I'm, any of the objects I'm controlling from the console can now be written in as uh, DAW timeline automation. And that centralizes that workflow in your DAW. All of your uh, object mo metadata motions are saved in the DAW, transmitted to the console and into the renderer. Um, an extra part of this package is the ADA16 unit. So this is a uh, 16 in, 16 out, Dante to line, line to Dante converter. And you'll see it just, uh, just down at the bottom of our, our rack here. Sorry, we're just a uh, very busy booth. Everyone's checking everything out. So this unit here is, um, is the unit that handles the loudspeaker outputs from the Dolby Atmos system. And we can actually remotely control it from the console surface. So via the loudspeaker tab over here, uh, if I go into loudspeaker management system here, I can mute speakers, I can uh, solo them uh, in groups. So if I want to solo the LCR or the surrounds or the heights or in a custom group as well, I've basically got full control over my loudspeaker array up to a 916 system. So. This is the Genesis uh, G3D system. Uh, we've had a lot, of, uh, a lot of interest in it already. Several Genesis customers who are already working in the Atmos uh, frontier are very on board with this system and uh, we'll be getting this out to customers over the next, uh, next few months. Fantastic, thanks very much. No problem, thanks Luke.